It's Jennifer from Happiness is Homemade 4 and welcome to my channel. <laughs> my son said, Mom, you're actually going to do a video looking like that? <laughs> so, yes, here I am. It is a beautiful sunny day. We went out for a walk. We took the dog. I got some sun on my face and my neck and I am feeling, I feel good. I need the sunshine and the happiness. So, we are going to paint one of these rabbits from the Dollar Tree. Gonna do kind of like a farmhouse little theme to him. So he's gonna turn out super cute. At least in my mind he is. So, all right, so I'm gonna use this rabbit. I'm gonna use some Waverly chalk paint in the ivory color. And I'm just gonna paint him up real fast. All right, take my tag off. He's like, Mom, no offense, you look good. I don't mean that. He's like, but you normally, you know, kind of dress up for your videos. Like, yeah. Real life, buddy. <laughs> I hope you all are doing good. It's good to get out of the house and walk around. Especially on a pretty day. Okay, so I have one coat of the Waverly Chalk Paint on my rabbit from Dollar Tree. And now I'm just going to take a paint marker that I have. Give it a good little shake. And all I'm going to do, I'm just going to kind of like, you could either do little like dashes or just outline your bunny just to add a little something to him, make him a little whimsical. Let's see. I guess I'll just try to do little dots at first. Kind of see what that looks like. Nothing perfect. Just adds a little something to your bunny, especially with me painting it white. But yeah, all I'm doing is just, you know, little dashes. Stash. Okay, yeah. So what I did, I just add little dashes all over my bunny rabbit. Just adds a little detail to it. Just a little something extra. Okay, so now I've got, I'm going to do cotton balls. I'm going to do for his tail. I've got some different ribbons here. I've got some carrots from the Dollar Tree. I've got these big ones like this. Or I've got these little ones. These little felt ones from the Dollar Tree, which are adorable too. So I'll do something like that. All right, let's see. Um, I think I'm going to take this one. This is something that I've had from Hobby Lobby. So I'm going to do, you can either do like a little collar, you know, like a little bow tie for a boy. Or you could go up by the ear and do like for a girl. Let's see. Let me just cut this. Uh, I'm not going to measure. Just going to cut that. Hopefully that is big enough. Okay, so I'm going to do a little bit of this orange and green and white that I have. Hopefully that will look cute. You don't have to measure everything, but you may want to do your ribbons about the same size. Let's see, I got these two. I'm gonna do two of this and then two of the orange that I have. Okay. I'm just wanting these to be about the same length as each other. Okay. I just need one more of this one. Okay. And I'm just gonna take and take these, kind of mix them up every other. Okay. I'm just gonna take my four, my four ribbon. I have two of each, and I'm just once again, I'm just going to stack them on top of each other. Now I'm going to take twine, because I want one like for the farmhouse rustic kind of look. I'm going to take some twine, and I'm going to lay my ribbons right down in the center of this twine. Okay, and I'm going to tie it kind of loosely at first, because I want to make sure that I'm going to get it nice and centered. Okay. It is, so I'm going to pull it nice and tight. Okay, so I pulled that really, really tight. And now I'm going to add a couple knots to keep it sealed. Sealed. <laughs> to keep it together. There's two. I'm just going to do three good tight knots. Okay, there's that one. Let's cut that off. Okay, you see my little row here. I'm just going to twist it and flip it. And do it however you want your ribbons to go. And normally I do these a lot longer. 
that the short little ribbon will be okay. Okay, you see, I just fluffed this little bow. It's so cute. Use whatever ribbons you have. Then take this and you can either do like, you do a little bow tie right here. You could go up here and do like with the ears. Be very cute. Or you could do something on the ear. Okay, so I'm gonna open up my carrots. Kind of see what we have here. These are so cute from the Dollar Tree. Oh my goodness. I love these little carrots from the Dollar Tree. And I'm just gonna take it and I'm gonna tie because I have all this long twine from where I've knotted it, where I tied it off. I didn't cut that off. So I'm gonna lay my carrot right down in there and I'm gonna tie me a nice little knot around the stem, the greenery of it. So I've got the one carrot and now I think I wanna add two. So I'm just gonna put another carrot right here and with that same twine, I'm just gonna tie another knot. And two, cause these little carrots aren't heavy. Two little knots is good. But <laughs> look how cute. Oh, just so simple. So simple. Now I'm going to hot glue my little bow tie on my bunny. I'm just gonna put some hot glue right smack on the back of this, right in the center. Sit that down. I'm gonna place that right, ah, just burn my finger. Yeah, don't burn your finger. <laughs> Do as I say, not as I do. All right, just gonna hold some pressure down here. And this is going to be very farmhouse cute. Okay, so I've got this on here. Look how cute. <laughs> I love it. Okay, now I'm gonna take some cotton balls. I'm gonna take this one cotton ball and I'm just, ah, didn't mean to rip it apart. <laughs> and I'm just going to fluff out my cotton ball to make him a nice fluffy little tail. Okay, so that is very fluffy, very cute. Just kind of pulled it apart. I'm just gonna put some hot glue down here where his little butt is. This is going to be really cute. I love it. It's so cute. You see that? I mean, just take something so basic from the Dollar Tree, because you know, the back, it was just very plain. Just one coat of Waverly chalk paint, you know, because I like the, the rustic distress look. Some black, I took a black um, paint pen, paint marker, added some little dashes, a cotton ball, and some carrots from the Dollar Tree, and just whatever ribbon you have at home. But it's so cute. Huh? And I think I'm gonna do another one the exact same way, but I'm gonna put the bow up here by her ears because I have a son and a daughter. So I'll make one for Presley and one for Riley. And I'll probably put these on display somewhere. And I'll show y'all where I end up putting them. But yeah, that is so cute. But that is it. All right, so that is my boy. And if you want to stick around, I can do a girl real fast too. So, let's do a girl. Hang on. Alright, yes. So that is my boy. Okay, real quick. Let's do a girl. Because I love to be with y'all. Okay. Real quick, I will put on a coat of this white wavy ivory chalk paint. Okay. Just let me paint this real quick for y'all. So I got this one painted. Once again, one coat. You, if you want, you can do two coats. I like kind of the rustic look, so I like it not perfect. Like I don't want it bright, perfect white. So I did that. Once again, I'm gonna take my black painter's paint pen, paint marker, <laughs> and I'm just gonna do little zigzags like this. Just little dashes all the way across my rabbit. Nothing perfect. Don't measure it out, I just kind of Raise my wrist, go down, come back up, just dash, dash, dash. All right, so once again, I just did my dashes real fast. Turned out like that, so cute. Now I'm gonna take my ribbon. I'm gonna take this one again. So I'm just gonna flip this over. <laughs> once again, I didn't measure out anything. It was just like a scrap that I had. So that should be pretty good. 
kind of see the, the link that went with. And this is going to be for the girl, the girl bunny. Okay. Now the only time I'm going to kind of measure is for my other ribbon. That way they're about the same length. Okay. Look at that one. And then I'll measure these two together. Okay. So I'm going to take this one and my orange one, this one, and this one. I'm just going to stack them right on top of each other. Just stack them on top. And then once again, I'm going to take some twine. I'm going to lay it right here in the center. Okay. So I want this to be long. I'll cut that off. Now I'm going to put right here in the center of my ribbon because I want it to be nice, nice and even. So I'm going to tie me a nice knot right here in the center. Okay, I'm going to pull it nice and tight, as tight as I can. So there's that. Now, like, like I just did, just once again, just fluff it, pull it apart. You got that tied nice and tight so you can adjust and fluff these, no big deal. I love the thought of having a boy and a girl. All right, so look, I've got a little bow to put in her hair, like up here by her ear to cover up that, that little hoe. Because I'm not gonna hang these. I'm just gonna sit them somewhere, maybe my windowsill. I don't know. I'll have to kind of play with it. Like I said, I will show y'all like what I end up doing with it. Because I need to decorate for Easter. <laughs> and that is one of my plans for one day this week. You know, because I'll be home all day. So I'm gonna take now I'm going to take my, one of my little carrots and I'm going to tie once again with the jute, jute, twine, whatever you call it. <laughs> and I'm just going to tie me a little knot. There's that one. Now I'm going to do one more carrot. Put it up here. And once again, I'm just going to tie a knot around it. Okay. Oh my goodness, my daughter is in there FaceTiming all of her friends. And they are laughing and being so loud, though. I don't know if you can hear them, but oh my goodness. Whew. You know, thank goodness, you know, kids, yes, are on their phones and electronics a lot, but thank goodness for FaceTiming, especially now, you know, that they can't go to school, they can't hang out with their friends, they can't be with their friends. They can FaceTime and laugh and talk. You know, she's back there doing that with her friends and... Riley's upstairs playing Fortnite with all his buddies. They all like get in a game together and they all FaceTime as they're talking and you just hear them just laughing and having fun. So it's somewhat normal, you know, for them. You know, they've already finished all their work for the day. I just made her a cute little bow. And now once again, I'm just going to hot glue this to her ear. Almost picked up my blow dryer. <laughs> Top of her ear. <laughs> it's gonna be so cute to have a little girl and a little boy, and I love it. Okay, now I'm gonna once again. I'm gonna take one of my cotton balls, and I'm just going to pull it apart. And this is just a basic old Dollar Tree cotton ball. So I got even got her. This is my girl. Nice fluffy little tail. Hot glue gun, hot glue. I'm gonna put her little tail on here. Ta da! <laughs> so we have a little girl and I have a little boy. Look how cute these are. So cute, made of Dollar Tree products, Dollar Tree items. So cute. I love these. Look up close. My little boy, Bunny. And now, my little girl bunny. Ah, I went with the farmhouse look. So cute. Love these. I'm definitely going to decorate with these. All right. And now, this one, you know, because where I had the hanger, all I'm going to do, I'll probably put like a little dab of hot glue right there, let it dry, and then I'm going to put a little paint over it. And you won't even notice. So, a little tip, you know, if you need to hide something. Put your little dab of hot glue, you know, just a little bit. That way it kind of fills in that hole. Or you probably even could do it from the back and just paint over it and you won't even see it. Okay, but that is it. <laughs> a nice, cute, quick, easy DIY 
once again using Dollar Tree products and stuff that I had at home. <laughs> so, all right. I hope you all are doing great. Stay positive. Stay healthy. Um, several more projects to come. So if you haven't yet, subscribe to my channel because I love all of my, my friends and my family. So, yeah. I hope you all have a great day and I will see you all next time. Bye, guys. Thanks for watching. Enjoying some nature today. Huh. Had to get out and walk. Yes. <laughs> Let's see. <laughs> Presley, you can't be serious. <laughs>